and we'll see how it goes. Epsilon versus BFF. We actually haven't talked about the game whatsoever, but that's perfectly fine as the game is going to start right now here. As we have Epsilon in the blue going up against BFF in the red. Two completely new lineups, but two very known teams from last season here in the ETF 2L sixth cup. This is the semi-finals, but it basically could be the finals. We'll talk about that here in just a bit. As this first middle is going on the way, Pledging Heavy is GPS on their mics. Warden on the stream. And the first middle is going on, Heavy's GPS. Yes, uh, that it is here. We see there's a slight uh, rear advantage here for uh, half medicine. Oh, and he goes down from Numlocked. Ooh, nice sticky bombs there. Yeah, good play so far. As Epsilon getting a three for two exchange here, four for two exchange now. So Epsilon's doing perfectly fine. Coming out of this middle, keeps their medic alive, keeps the most important people alive, and especially Numlock still staying alive there, which is going to be a big key thing. Pushing onto the spire here in just about, well, ten seconds or so after they cap it. So Plinch, how big a deal is it losing your medic and the enemy team does not lose their medic on the middle point here on yeah, balance? Yeah, you're gonna have to do something. Like, like you can see right now that BFF is actually not going to do it, but you see a lot of teams lately uh, who've been picking up that sniper rifle, picking up the, the spy knife, anything like that, to either get like the extreme force or not. You can see the force now is coming in onto the second point. That is actually not bad whatsoever um, because obviously you don't want to give away that spire for free and then have your medic dying or something like that. Hawks is not going to get the shot there. I thought he almost managed to take down Nox. He didn't. And Epsilon actually not doing all too well here on the spire. I think BFF is holding on here. Yeah, that's a nice hold. Suppressing they had an Uber and everything, but uh, that was a nice force. Of course, if you don't know what a force is, that when you force the medic to pop the Uber instead of dying. So, yeah. let's see. I can see, I can see Shocky sitting here. On oh, Nox is actually being pressured area. quite a lot here. They're actually being pushed back uh, to their own half uh, on the middle point. I was looking at Shocky here on the back cap. Who's going to come back for him? It looks like a soldier's coming back for him. Demo's coming back for him now. Is Shocky going to be able to take down a soldier? It looks like no, he is not. He's going to get shot down. But Epsilon looks at this moment as a pure prime time. What I really, really like, though, is that BFF didn't actually use this Uber. Hat still sitting on 100%. And they're being a little bit passive here. I'm surprised. They should yeah, know I mean, to have an advantage. Yeah, they're probably reading the situation a bit wrong here. And, you know, the longer you wait, the more of the chances that something can go wrong. And it's going to be that both teams going to have Uber and it comes down to this engagement. I See. don't know who's going to make the first move here, but it looks uh, like it's going to yeah, be Epsilon both. here with their demo man. Yeah, both teams always a little bit passive, but usually Nomlock's the one who's going to look around a little bit, and that's exactly what he's doing. Uber does come off here onto this choke area. Both Ubers come off pretty much identical times. BFF having a slight advantage there is not going to matter all too much because the defender's advantage. And usually there's a soldier coming in to make the play. Mitzi in this scenario came in to make the play. Not, nothing's going to happen, though. BFF was perfectly... Um, Perfectly just in a defensive position. Nothing's going to happen over there. And now it's BFF's turn. Are they going to push this out? Are they going to try and break through? It looks like the house entrance was the way of choosing. But it's not really working. And now Hawks on this choke point is going to bite the dust. Yeah, and uh, two down for BFF right now. So Epsilon definitely has the numbers. They just have more people up. And uh, Soldier and a Scout down. That's a pretty, good, pretty big deal if the enemy team has zero down. Looking as Epsilon. Oh, oh that was <laughs> a nice God. double kill there by Kadis taking on Numlocked and Woo. Kadis jumping in right now into the medic. Is Kadis going to be able to take down Nox? Yeah, to get it with Quad. There you go. Perfect. As they take down Nox there, Uber completely being set back into the BFS advantage. As we have Epsilon, five people down, all coming down back to that sticky trap where Kadis got the double kill onto Numlocked and onto Bash, who is called Woo this game. I don't know if that's his official name for the season. Let's hope it's not, because casting will be awful if that's the scenario. Woo, go woo. Go woo. Ugh, that's, that should be awful. Well, all right. <laughs> yeah, well, Hat here, he has the medic for BFF, has a full Uber now, so they're going to be moving up. Uh, looks like they're going to be going through uh, the house here, so. Yeah, they've been spotted. They've been spotted now, coming through this left hand side. Looks like Demo Double Soldier all coming in now. See Wu, Wu actually, with a nice uh, four steps down. God, I hate calling him Wu. I'm just going to call him Bash. That's, that's his original nickname. But we can see that the positional advance here for BFF definitely just, as I said, in favor of BFF. The Reds looking very, very strong here. Almost got the double air shot there onto the spire. The point is going to get capped. Cadis is making his way over to the last. I am going to take a look at Cadis because I do not think he has been spotted. He has now. Mike actually spotting him on the side there. Cadis almost going down now, retreating all the way back to the stone bridge. Building Uber, taking it easy, but Epsilon's team with the advantage. Now I'm just trying to see here uh, what the engagement is here. Oh! Oh, did, was that a drop? 
from I'm quite sure, Daylith? yeah. Wow, Nox goes down to make a drop. Oh yeah, what a joke. Yeah, here comes the trash talk immediately. Oh, uh, Nox is, by the way, for anyone wondering, Nox is known for, the, known for this stuff, where he just types in chat about stuff that he finds ridiculous. That's just what he does. Um, yeah, so now I'll, it's going to be an Uber yeah. versus no Uber, uh, pushing on to last here. Uh, looks like BFF is, uh, they're looking pretty strong right now on this uh, last point here. They're uh, calling the shots so they can do yeah. exactly what they want and get really comfortable and get everybody into position. I'm curious about their right side push here, though. It looks like they are going to do that. It's going to take them a while to get to the enemy medic, though, so it looks like a positional push more so than a killing push. It's exactly what they're going to do, but a defense from Epsilon so far so good, but the point has almost been capped, and yeah, there you go. Only a scout. Seriously, as a scout, you can walk up to it and lick it and you'll cap it. That's seriously as simple as it is at that moment in time. Yeah, that was a nice uh, scout and demo push from the side there with the Uber. That was a uh, pretty, pretty nice play there. Yeah, we'll, we'll play to uh, to BFF picking up that first point up against Epsilon Esports here in the semifinals of the ETF 12 Sixth Cup and uh, Heavy's GPS. I'm curious to see. Like, Epsilon, I think they're regarded as the favorites here, but the new BFF lineup, they're looking quite strong. And so far, Dallas, the unknown guy, but managing to make Nox drop there, definitely putting a stamp onto this game already, as now we have BFF actually surprisingly easy picking up this middle point. Yeah, keep in mind they won the first round even after uh, losing the middle point there and with a massive uber disadvantage as well. So uh, it was quite amazing for them to be able to push back like that. I did not think that at all. Oh, well played to them as right now they're making their way through. Stone Bridge has been reached 98% onto Nox. Nox has that uber ready to rock and roll, but already being forced there by Dallas once again. Like a very important force, a very important play there, and it looks like... God, that medic from BFF is invisible to me. I cannot actually see him. His models Well, you see a floating gone. medigun. That's what you see. Yeah. That's nice. It's a ghost medic. But uh, kind of an early uber there from Had as well. I'm not sure what that was about. I'm not sure if that was a force or not. Did not look like it, though. No, it was, it was like a reasonably early force. Dalek like coming in from the balcony area, just getting a rocket onto Nox, immediately has to pop that uber as soon as you get it. Obviously, that does mean that right now he's going to have a slight advantage. Epsilon is the team known for pretty much perfect play. Like, pretty much. Like, if, if you're talking about a team that is pretty much perfect, you're talking about Epsilon. That's imperfect. You mean they play solid or do they play, like, risky, cheesy? They almost don't make mistakes, no matter what they do. That, that's right. just uh, in, in that regard, which very simply means that right now they have Uber Charge. They know whether or not they're going to push. Like, they're always going to be in the right position. And it looks like they've decided we're not going to do anything. We're just going to sit back and uh, wait this out. Yeah, 30% Uber difference, pushing out from last is not a big enough window to make something happen and be sure that it works. Yeah, exactly. You have you have no kill advantage either, so it's all a little bit risky, and especially uh, considering last round. Epsilon looks like they're going from the from a right side push again, or not. I'm just trying to figure out what they're going to do here. Yeah, it looks like they're going to go through the main. They're going to yep, do here the, it comes. the double soldier plays coming in first, and uh, they're going to try and get a pick there. I don't think it's going to happen, though. Beaver actually going down as well. Both Ubers have been exchanged, and Epsilon um, very much having an advantage, but do they have a kill advantage so far? It's one soldier for one scout. Hat now goes down. Cadis goes down. Well played by Nomla. Coming in from that sort of stairs area, going up onto the right-hand side of the on balcony. The sniper. One scout trying to come in from the left-hand side. Nomla did spot him, though, but it's stopping. It's stopping the push towards the spy area. Scouts on last and Quad always oh. getting that stuff done. Not managing to make it work though. And Beaver and quite far back actually. I'm very surprised by that. I did see Dalith in main. I'm quite sure I did. Dalith Warrior. He already died. Never mind. I did see him in main but he just died. <laughs> yeah, talk about not licking the point enough. That was really, really close. It looks Let's like uh, Beaver and yeah, some pressure being applied to him here. Not able to get the shots off as he so desires. It's obviously, uh, it's the first map, like the first couple of minutes of the first map, so obviously everyone's kind of getting into the zone, it's a semi-finals anyway, so both of these teams are going to want to win, because basically the other semi-finals are a lot less skilled, if you can talk about it like that. Both roaming soldiers now exchanging frags, actually I should say Mike is the roaming soldier nowadays, so a roamer for a pocket, Epsilon's going to pick up middle, 
and it looks like Epsilon still, as I said, they have the super advantage. Nox, apart from drops, almost rarely dies whenever I see him play at least. And Epsilon, in officials, very simply, they haven't lost since I-46. Are they going to be able to maintain that record here? They're 1-0 down, they're trailing, but BFF definitely having a disadvantage in this round. But it looks like one scout each so far. Anything can still happen around the Spire. Nox, only 9 HP though, and he is... No, he's actually not going to be able to stay alive. Dalith coming in once again, getting the pick down. Now it's 3-for-3 three three with a medic and a sniper for BFF and a soldier against scout double soldier. That is definitely bomb worthy. And here we go, one bombing That was a nice surf in. though. <laughs> Did you see that? You just pick up his surfboard and just surf that rocket into safety. Well done, Hat. Hat off to you. That was, that was really beautiful, man. All right, okay, good. I'm alone here now. Uh, I think Pledge's computer died or something. Or maybe his, his mic's not working. Anyway, we can't hear him, so it's just me here solo casting. Am I here? Oh, now? yes, now you're here. Good. Well, okay, my well, internet just spazzed out. Sorry for that. As uh, my internet spazzed out, I had a little bit of a choke. I'm very sorry about well, that. Well, we had a moment of silence for you, even though it was very awkward here. That's as, nice. Uh, so it makes a push onto uh, the spire here. I, I was I was actually saying a lot of stuff, and I was still Well, you casting. can re repeat that. No, it's not. <laughs> it was play-by-play. -play. It was an analysis, sadly. I'm so sorry about that. As my internet spazzed out for about two seconds, and now I am back. As uh, Epsilon picking up that middle point, defending the middle point. Oh, there's some cover more BFF. now. Soldier demo going in here with the full uber popped. As long as the stick is on the point, though. Nice pirate defense there, nice reflect. Denying they really that, uh... need to get rid of those stickies that Cadis has planted there on the point. It looks like now they're getting a couple of kills. Two for one, two for two. Are they going to be able to put this into their favor? Three against two. And two now against two, two right 2v2 now. 2v2 demo. Oh, it's only a medic left. From BFF. Oh, with the uh. Ubersaw. <laughs> <laughs> the plays, the plays, the plays. I, love I guess what Epsilon has been doing is probably zoning off BFF to just make sure to how much like force they need to apply in order to break them. Uh... <laughs> You know, like high tier teams do. Like, don't play the ace card. You know, mm -hmm. at the first start. At the start. Hey, oh, Pledge, this might be a good idea to say that I've got my computer working. All right, cool. Everybody, this is Ali. <laughs> Hello. Nice. We'll get you in in just a bit. As right now, yeah. uh, this middle is first very, very important. As we can see, the score being one to one, BFF and Epsilon getting their stuff together here on middle. It looks like BFF in a prime position, but Epsilon not going to give up on this. Gets the double kill with Mike and Mitzi there. Double soldier frags onto Cadis and Hatton. It looks like Epsilon is going to be able to prevail here. Yeah, it looks like that yeah, was a near wipe. They're only quite, uh, quite alive right now. Mm, BFF had such a better positioning then, and then one of their soldiers jumped onto Hat, who surfed, uh, sorry, Epsilon jumped onto Hat, who surfed away, and they were completely in control until no one realized that Epsilon had another soldier behind as well, and he got Hat, and then they retook it really easily. Yeah, definitely, Epsilon getting through there, now picking up the Spire 100% versus 20%. Now coming in towards this last point, um... Apparently, we still have quite a bit of a lag, so we really need to go and figure that out, Warden. I don't know if you can check that, but uh, for now, this stuff is more important. As the Uber's coming in, Uber versus no Uber, here on to last, and BFF really holding on for their lives here as much as possible. Still no deaths, though, Ali. I think they're doing quite well so far, and actually, two for zero exchange. What the hell is Epsilon doing? They just didn't get any kills. They got nothing from that Uber, and they were stuck on the floor at the end, so they couldn't really stay there. I expected they might push up top, but they're just standing in the main at the moment, getting spammed yeah. out. Out. Definitely, and let's see. Right now, Hats does pick up that Uber charge. Let's see in what way. Are they going to push out? Or are they not? Are they going to stick around on last? It looks like that's exactly what they're going to do. But they should, knowing them, they're going to be pushing on. Yeah, here they we should go. Be pushing Kate, is, out. Kate is making his way through at the moment. Probably Hawks right behind him and uh, Dalith on last. That is my guess. I don't know exactly what they're going to do. Double Scout are coming from Balcony. Quad and Beaver both very low here, and there's only obviously uh, there's one. A scout going to the back up. Where, where, it's where? Quite last. 
Hawks is sitting there oh, up against no, that but... scout. Is he going to be able to get him? It looks like Hawks is rocket. Oh, okay, there's one scout returning as well here for BFF as uh, Bash is going to get shot down here by Hawks and Beaver together. But what that does mean is that Hat is dead. Um, that's as simple as I can say. Hat is dead. Nox is still alive. And definitely Epsilon is going to try and make a play for last here. Mitzi goes down, but Cadis goes down. Beaver goes down. There's a lot of Epsilon and there's not a lot of BFF here on this last point. Yeah, they got two spawners now, but... Really, this should be Epsilon's point. Well, simple as that. As uh, Epsilon coming in right there. People advantage, or person advantage, or player advantage, whatever you want to call it. 2-1 to one is the scoreline, and Epsilon looking very strong. Apart from that first round, it always takes a little while for Epsilon to actually get into gear. Yeah, you, you did that. See what I did there? Didn't you? <laughs> I had to. I kind of had to. Oh, the gear pun. BFF so, are in Valley. Saying both soldiers actually from Epsilon coming out of this house. This might be a little bit unfortunate for them. Mike jumping immediately gets shot down. And it looks like this is a good middle for BFF here. Yeah, they didn't really lose anyone. And uh, having stepped down at the end of it, Epsilon really just means they have to push right back. And they're already back in lobby. Uh, they're going to go Balk, I think, but they won't be able to do much without their demo. And he's not around for another five seconds. Let's see, as Quad making his way towards the Spire now, there's one soldier there, one scout there. Quad maybe a little bit overextending here. 37 HP is going to be able to make his way out there. Hawks exchanging frags with Bash there. Skate is a mix. Mitzi picking up some frags. Shocky going down. That is definitely not good for Epsilon here. You kind of need your scouts in order to be able to hold this. And let's see in what way uh, BFF is going to try and push it. This Quad on top of the Spire. I don't think there's anything Epsilon can do. Great shot by Dalith here. Again, Dalith. He seems to be playing very well, Ali. I don't know how much you've caught of the start. But Dalith seems to really, you know, get the picks. Get the important plays that you need to get as a roamer. And as sort of... Like, from these 12 players, him and Mitzi are probably the the unknown guys, if that makes sense. But Dalith, he's a very talented player and he seems to be playing very well so far. It's very impressive to see. Yeah, that was brilliant. I mean, he was playing Doctrino before, but yeah, and he's doing work there. But when he comes to do work for BFF now against sort of Epsilon, you realise his calibre was much better suited here. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's always a little bit like if you're playing for a low prem team, it's it's very hard to judge how good you actually are until you like play with the big boys and then see what happens. And it looks like right here, Uber Charge does come out for BFF. Nox 88%. Not going to have it just yet, but it looks like BFF not making their way through whatsoever. They tried as much as possible, but they're not through. Now Nox has that Uber Charge, immediately popping it onto Numlock. They're going to push out here from this right-hand side onto Balcony. Now dropping down through the drop -off. No, they're not going to do that. They're going to walk to the left-hand side of the Balcony here, Trying to push out into the Spire, but Hawks with a fantastic shot on Shockey there. Takes him down, forces Epsilon back. And now there's a steady Uber charge advantage once again for the Reds. Yeah, that was a really initial poor Uber by BFF. They they did it in top lobby, and I was I was free canning from the back of the point, and Epsilon were all stuck on the floor, but BFF didn't really seem to push forward. They just seemed like really defensive and forced, and not ideal for their push. Maybe they expected an Uber coming out from Epsilon, that they played it safe, but they just miscounted. Like I've seen that happening from time to time. I guess right now they're not going to make that mistake, though. They're no 30% ahead, and they're going to double scout. Is double scout as good against the Pyro as it is, though? As the Pyro is blasting pretty much everyone back. And so far, Nox still on full HP, 120 HP, 95%, and now Epsilon's getting the kills. The Uber is going to come off, and Epsilon is going to hold on. They need to be very, very safe, though. Cadis goes down, and Hat rushes out from the Stone Bridge area. He's going to run for his life, but I'm guessing people are chasing him all over the place as uh, Nox is making his way through top lobby right now. Mike is sitting on last, and Epsilon Numlocked is going to be the first guy to reach the Spire. Just looking here, as uh, Numlock sitting on the Spire area, trying to get as much pipes as possible. Gets one pipe onto Beaver and um, one pipe onto Quad as well, actually. So both scouts quite weak. Dalith going down and really BFF not having the health there to contest the Spire. And now Ubers are equal. I'm not sure. Does this hat have crits or something? Because I think... No, yeah, it doesn't though. I'm, I'm guessing... Yeah, I guess Nox hasn't been hasn't been healing for quite a while. Now with Cadis going down. I think Epsilon's gonna, just going to stroll through Ali, aren't they? I think they're just gonna walk on through here. <laughs> I managed to um, crash. I'm coming back. I'm joining the server now. Wow. Okay. Well, that explains. <laughs> that explains. <laughs> There's like um, really awkward silences. Your TF2 is fantastic, dude. Seriously. I know, it's going great. 
<laughs> so we can see uh, Epsilon making their way through to, this, to the enemy Spire right now. So suddenly, from defending last onto the enemy Spire within a matter of seconds, Hawks and Beaveron only just spawning now. So it's technically a 6v4 for at least the next five seconds. Both teams haven't used Uber yet. Dalith goes down. Mitzi goes down. So that's one all at the moment. But a lot of cap time has already been done. Now, a lot of Uber... Lot, lot, lots of Uber advantage here for Epsilon. They should be capitalizing on this. There is a back cap, but they're going to force capping onto the Spire. Everyone goes down here from BFF and Epsilon slowly but surely. They just rush from this last point, I think within 90 seconds, onto the enemy last. They're going to cap it. And it's going to be 3 to 1 here unless a miracle happens. That is not going to happen. 3 to 1 is going to be the score at the moment. Epsilon definitely showing where a team to be reckoned with this season. That was even more impressive considering um, Nox managed to drop Seb on that attack then, ju just in the middle of the Uber, and <laughs> they still managed to get it, which is just testament really, I guess, to how good they are at the moment. Yeah, Epsilon definitely. Uh, I, th I think uh, Beach called him called him the second place, I guess, the, in the predictions, together with Broder as first. So I guess it's really going to be a challenge between those two. But BFF, definitely a team to look out for. Definitely they can take maps off the big boys. They're going to try and make that happen here. Three to one is the scoreline. BFF now, definitely, there's no way in hell they're going to pick up this middle. Losing three players straight off the bat. Losing a fourth mid while true and with just Katie's and Hats alive. They should be happy if they can hold on to last, because this Spire is pretty much going to be undefendable. Yeah, they were thinking about going back then, but Cadis has just gone back to Sticky Top Lobby. I'm just looking around, and now as we have Epsilon... Epsilon is going bottom right. Are they, are they doing their bottom right push again? Serious? Uh, nope. Oh, they've Ubered. What? Wait, How did wait that what? 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 <laughs> Nox is even saying what? Like, I seriously think if he wouldn't have said what... I think BFF wouldn't have noticed. Yeah, I just saw, I saw them going bottom right, flicked into last, just nothing was happening. Oh, <laughs> Beaveroon, such a brutal sniper. As uh, he takes the pick onto Numlock there, Devil Man down for Epsilon, Uber used. Do I, they I even guess... know? Do they even know? Honestly, I, no, I don't think they do. I think right now, they're uh, see how cautious they are, they have no idea. As I said, if They were Nox... still running that pyro for about yeah. a good 20 seconds before they managed to change. If Nox wouldn't have said what, BFF would have would have been completely in the dark. They had no idea. I, I'm very curious. Like, and they obviously still do. Uh, that was the weirdest thing. I think he just his, his right finger slipped. Yeah. I, I, okay, <laughs> no, amazingly, not uh, Nox has managed. They've given them enough time to build right back up for that Uber. BFF yeah. are holding forward now, so let's see if that works a lot better for them. Well, I guess it. Eps I guess it worked in Epsilon's favor that Numlock died there, because like. It, it, it gave them an excuse to walk back, basically. So in that yeah, regard, I, mean. I mean, they can just build that Uber perfectly fine, and now we're back into the regular scenario we were about a minute ago. Yeah, I have someone just jumping Spire, trying to get up. Is that a soldier onto Seb? Seb goes down. Ah, Dallas going down as well. Doing that work. Yeah, it's roaming soldier for a demo, man. That's an exchange I'd like to have <laughs> when I'm playing. Um, and Dada definitely taking down Numlock there. Like, he took down Nox loads of times already, once with Uber. Um, and now taking Numlock down again. Like, it's, it's Dada is doing work. It's definitely going to be a guy that I'm going to be watching him for the next uh, 45 minutes or so during this game. <laughs> Let's see. Are they going to go? Yeah, Epsilon is going to go right side. So, like you said, it is true about a minute later. Uh, Dallas <laughs> goes down, but the Uber obviously gets forced quite late. Actually, Nox didn't have the Uber whatsoever there. Hawks is staying there with Nox, gets a little bit of free damage in. Hawks yeah, has to walk back a little bit. There is a BFF really... are all on the floor. Just... They've got they've got a huge number of advantage. Just Cadis at the moment, keeping them all back on the stairs. Epsilon really look like they want to repush. They've got seven seconds till the next spawn wave for BFF. This should be easy cap, to be honest. Yeah, the Ubers sort of faded there after the middle, and neither team had the best positioning, but I just seems like they outfragged them in the end. Has Pledge crashed? That just crashed. Damn it, my internet really, really <laughs> sucks. Okay, cool. I'm really going to tell my roommates in the break in five minutes that they should stop. Damn it! Okay, right, so this game is going on once again. I'm awful today, I'm so sorry. But, <laughs> but, but, as we can see this middle, I th I'm quite sure it's being picked up by BFF here. Cadis, great pipes from Cadis. 
as uh, he gets two two pipes in into a row, taking out Nomlock there, and it just knocks a mid to your life. That Uber charge is going to be maintained, but are they going to be able to hold Spire with it? I'm guessing they don't have the players. But knowing Epsilon, they're going to defend this alley. Yeah, neither team has really been able to make their stamp on winning middles. I think they've altern alternated quite a while for whoever's won them. But a lot of the time, Epsilon have always made use of when they've won um, Spires. They've been able to, uh, middles, they've been able to take the Spire really easily. And now mm -hmm. on second, the Ubers get popped off. There's a soldier alienated at the back behind Epsilon, if they noticed. Oh, soldier Dallas. jumps to the Medic now. Well, on Dallas. Ah, on, uh, knocks Epsilon on Spire. I think both the medics are playing pretty brilliantly at the moment. Yeah, it's, to be honest, Numlock the Cadis died so early into that fight, the soldiers actually got like free roam and everything they could do. And now we can see, look at that aggression, like you said this uh, like 30 seconds ago. As soon as they pick up the middle, they go for Spire. Here the same thing, they defend and they go. There's no time in between, they go immediately. The, the, the time from them to go from defensive mode to offensive mode is very, very little compared to a lot of other teams in this game. Yeah, BFF look like they want to hold choke at the moment. They've still got Dallas down, but Mike have got a soldier down too, and Epsilon seem quite content with that at the moment. They're just sat on their front train, and they've got the Uber now, but it's too small an advantage for them to push straight off that, so it looks like it might be a bit of a stalemate here. Yeah, definitely Epsilon just waiting for Mike, playing it safe, and BFF pretty much going to have to do the same. It's 4-1, four, four minutes left on the clock. So when I said BFF has to do the same, I lied. They have to do something else. They kind of need to go if they want to have any chance of winning this map. And let's see, are they going to go or are they just seeing this as a glorified practice game? I'm not sure. I think they're not actually doing anything. So I, either they haven't noticed the time. <laughs> yeah, um, they really aren't playing with the agency of a team who wants to win this map. It, there's four minutes left on the clock. If you want to win the game, you got to go. <laughs> yeah, they had enough time to cap three points, like, without having to rush it all the time, but now they're just down to the wire. And... Okay, 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 we see change. They're going from Valley. Here we go. I th Didn't we see Epsilon do this last season about a thousand times, and now we can see BFF doing it. Going yeah. from that resupply area, boat soldiers coming in, and the devil man is sitting on choke. Hat returns, coming through this house area. There's no support from Hat. There, okay, support from Hat there. As uh, this push is not going to work out, I, I guess that's it. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> they Ubered too far too early in Valley there, and Hat just got out middle, and Hat got out straight away, and Hat was halfway through his Uber, and uh, a lot of BFF players were still stuck in, so. Let's see in what way is BFF actually going to play this out. Looks like they have killed, killed Nox, Noblock is dead, and Epsilon still managing to push, just push through here. I don't think BFF really has the spirit to actually finish this off. We're going to go into the next map. I think it's Gully Watch, which is the next map. And we're going to be there in 2 minutes and 45 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. Now it's just a question of who can make the most awesome play, one, and two, what is going to be the end score? <laughs> now, obviously, we don't care about the end score because a win is a win. What we do care about is awesome plays. So I am going to go into free cam, and I want to see the sickest thing ever. So I'm going to look at quad. That's one. <laughs> Takes that mic. Is it going to be anything else? No, it's not. It's going to be final one. Uh, two and a half minutes left on the clock. I mean, they're going to play it out, aren't they? Just Yeah, they're going to play it out. I mean, momentum's a big thing at the moment. Uh, uh, Epsilon are completely like, trashing VFF. They've done so much more work in this past 15 minutes than they did in the first. Yeah, it's very it much so. Like, I... I keep noticing this, and I don't know if it's because it's Epsilon, but whatever lineup they have, they always perform better the second 15 minutes than the first 15 minutes. It's just what they do. Yeah, it seems that way. Alright, so how's this middle going? I don't see any awesome plays, which is too bad. So we have 1 minute and 45 seconds left on the clock here. Scores 5-1, to one. BFF's gonna pick up this middle. Um, or are they? Yeah, they are. They definitely are. They don't, I would eat my hat, but they are. I think BFF yeah, have probably picked up the most middles here, to be honest, but they're really just not making use of their pushes onto last. I think the middles is pretty much even, or even like one in favor of, of, of BFF. I wouldn't be surprised. It's just Epsilon. <laughs> Stuff and getting the backs that onto Cadis. <laughs> oh, like, I'm, I'm spectating Hat at this moment in time, just kind of looking, and suddenly you heard his knife sound. And, like, Ali, you're a medic, right? Like, it's the worst thing you can hear. It's that backstab sound somewhere next to you. 